Alright, so I'm gonna get to finish and button this up really quick. Uh, the dust cover, uh, you're not gonna be using the dust cover. It's not going to fit. Doesn't matter how you place it using this transmission setup. So just make sure you don't use this in a very dusty, well, I guess sandy area. Uh, so we're just gonna stick the switch here. You know, you're gonna get things between your gears and destroy them. Uh, so just to button this up, uh, we have our ESC. So ESC goes channel two. Our uh, servo is channel one because that's steering. Now, some people do like to coil these and turn them into just a nice big coil so they look like a uh, little spring. Uh, that's pretty neat. I generally don't. I just make loops. Uh, it's much easier. Uh, but channel one and then channel two. Uh, so make sure that you have these in the correct order, especially if this is your first build. It's very easy for people to mistake and put the ESC in channel one. And then when you try to steer, it only goes in reverse or maybe forward, depending on which way it turns. Now, when you're doing this tube, uh, I'm going to cut it right about there. Cut the tube a little longer. That's fine. But do not stick the antenna tube and then cut because, uh, <laughs> you may cut your antenna. Uh, now I'm using this tube. I really don't need it. Uh, I don't know why antennas are still so long. Uh, back in the day they needed to, but now with the 2.4 systems, you don't need antennas that long. Uh, but this will go right in here. And now uh, I just need to set it in place. So once I do this, the antenna tube will be attached, that way it doesn't come out easily. All right, and that's it. And I just drove that flush, so that little uh, set screws there flush. And once I put the body, it should be fine here because this is where the cap comes up. Well, usually on truck bodies, if not, this is flexible. It would be fine, so this is set. And I'm going to tie these here because there's no other place really for me to hold them. So I will just grab a little tie strap, just strap these on. Uh, I guess I strapped them on these wires. Actually, I'll do that. That'll be better. Uh, but anyway, I grab these and then I just make a loop and then I'll just Actually, I only need one. Nope, I'll make another loop. I'll make a smaller loop. And that is it. So just have loops there. And then I'll just put a tie strap. And I'll hold them like this. And I'll do the same thing to the ESC wire. Let me just do the wires first. I'm trying to tie strap them over there away from the fan. Uh, I'm not worried about them hitting the fan. It's just so they don't restrict the air going to the fan. Again, not a big deal. It's just me. Uh, this is one of those moments where a third hand would be useful. But I don't have a third hand right now. And of course, I can tie strap the other way. Uh, let me just get the loop started. And then I'll hold these together. And that is, that is it. So now for my capacitors, I'll just set them there as well. And uh, they're not really going to be bouncing up and down in a way that would affect uh, the performance or damage them because they're sitting here on the wires. Uh, the wires are going to be working as springs. That's the other reason why I chose to place them here. I'll start the loop again. And I'll stick the capacitor pack in there. And do not over tighten these uh, tie straps. You really don't need them to be too, too tight. Uh, I mean, this is 
firm enough. So that is perfect. This truck's going to be bouncing up and down. Uh, the wires are going to work as a spring for my capacitor pack. Uh, but that is it. Later on, if I put a fan, I'll put the fan here. I do have a fan. I'm just not going to install it yet. Uh, and then I'm going to go over here. First, I'm going to run this and see if I need a fan or not. Uh, but that is it for the truck. So the truck is all buttoned up. I may put some tubing here later on, uh, just so it looks neater. Uh, and then we, this is the negative, that's the positive. Can't really see, but there's a little red sticker there. I may put another mark somewhere else, just in case. Some ESCs, like that uh, Hobby Wing that I was talking about, Elite Pro, uh, they have uh, a protection system, just in case you reverse the terminals. All right, so now at this point, uh, we are final steps. Uh, I don't have a body ready for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and mount the wheels. Uh, so here we go. And if you are new, just a quick little thing. Uh, so when you're buying these separately, these are the tires, these are the wheels. Uh, and the reason why I mention that is uh, I went into a hobby shop a long time ago and there was a newer employee there. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter if that employee was new or not. But I went in asking for wheels and the guy looked at me and said, do you want wheels or rims? I said, I want wheels. So he pointed at tires. Uh, these are tires, these are wheels. Back in the day, the rim was just the rim. So you would mount the tire onto the rim and then the rim would bolt onto the wheel. Uh, or if there were some different wheels where everything, this was one piece, say, you put the tire in with the, the inner tube and then there was another rim that you would just kind of hammer on on the outside uh, and that would hold the tire in. So keep that in mind, there is a difference. Yeah, that was the first time I ever experienced that and I just looked at the guy, like, really, are you kidding me? Uh, I mean, he could have just read the bags, said wheels for the actual wheel and tires for the actual tires. Uh, but uh, for this one, I'm going to be using the Prism SC in the back. Uh, these are by ProLine. Uh, the number is 10148. And that's what I'm going to be using for the rear. And the reason why is uh, it's going to be running on carpet. So I want the little pins to grab onto the carpet. Now the front, I'm also going to be running ProLines, but it's a different model. Now these wheels tend to be the plus three millimeter. Uh, because somebody recommended them. Uh, I should not have listened. I actually don't like the plus three. I like the regular ones. It's a little narrower, but these will hit the body. And that's why I don't like them because then the front, it works as a brake when you're turning. Uh, but anyway, I'll try them out. Maybe I'll modify the body. Uh, these are the Prisms SCF. So the difference is the F. Now the number, this is 10169. So 10169. And the reason why I'm going with these in the front is because, uh, well, the front is what turns, and these have these little knobs on them that will grab onto the carpet as I'm turning. That's the reason why. So if we look at the tires, you see these here, that's the reason why. Uh, now, now uh, everything is ready to go on this truck just to try out. Uh, my suspension's fine. Uh, all the rest of the tuning I'll do once I'm on the track. So I will adjust uh, the anti-squat in the rear, for example, on the kick up front. I may adjust where these shocks go. Actually, it'd probably be the front ones maybe. Uh, the oil, the spring tension, turnbuckles. Uh, you really have to just run the vehicle and see what your needs are. Uh, once you're running. But other than that, uh, this is it. So the build is complete. All I need now is a body, charged battery, and head on over to my nearest track. Other than that, thank you so much for watching.